So we're back to Duchamp. Just an artist who is constantly weaving in and out of just about any story you're dealing with in the 19-teens. So why does Nude, his Nude Descending a Staircase number 2, stand out from the show, from other Cubist works that's, that are there? Because this is the one that we're going to see in so many cartoons. This is the one that we're going to see talked about in so many newspaper articles and art criticisms and everywhere else. It's like the public and the experts key in on this specific piece. Well, first, its pictorial fragmentation was more violent and jagged than other similar paintings. Its lines were closely knitted and overlapping, resembling sketchwork as much as traditional brush strokes. And while other Cubist works of the period stressed the multiplicity of a single moment, that idea of seeing one item from multiple viewpoints at the same time, Nude combined this strategy with a futurist inflected sense of time, simultaneously representing multiple moments in time as well as multiple viewpoints, capturing that concept of movement that we're going to see from the futurists. In fact, he's doing this at the same time we're seeing some of the futurist ideas coming out. So these are happening at the same time. It's not one following another. Now, Duchamp places the work uncomfortably between legibility and illegibility. So, of this idea of now you see it, now you don't. We can kind of see that person, but every time you sit there and you go, yeah, I see the person descending the stairs, then you look at it closer and you go, no, I guess I don't. Because I thought that I understood it, but now this element stands out. It's a very tricky one to deal with. In a way, nude angered people because they understood it too well, but also not well enough. What is really frustrating to a viewer is this idea of a false start rather than a foregone conclusion. This idea that you can't really get into the piece because every time you do, you realize that you're wrong. And so we're going to see this as the symbol of the Armory Show. So not only is this a key piece to cubism and a key piece in terms of some futurist ideas, and most certainly a key piece when it comes to Duchamp and looking at some of the Dada ideas. But it's a key piece in American art, even though it's not American, when it comes to the Armory Show, because this is the, the key piece that everyone's going to be talking about for a year after the show closes.